Hi, my name is Liam. Welcome to AMT Tech Service, a web series made for those who want to understand more about filming equipment to make better informed decisions about the gear they're buying. For today's video, we have the V-Raptor XL 8K Vista Vision, the latest flagship from RED. We're going to talk about the key features and specs of the cinema camera. But before we dive into the video, I actually have some test footage from the time we had with the camera. So let us watch that, then we'll proceed with the rest of the video. The Raptor XL comes equipped with an 8K Vista Vision full frame sensor. The dimensions are 40.96 mm by 21.60 with a resolution of 8192 by 4320 and a native ISO of 800, giving you the most balanced image, though you can easily change it in post since it is metadata. Same goes for the color temperature. When it comes to the dynamic range, the Raptor has an outstanding 17 stops of total latitude, putting it at the top of the market right next to the new Ari 35. You will have plenty of information both in the shadows and in the highlights in any production or situation you may find yourself in. The Raptor XL has plenty of aspect ratios and resolutions to choose from. As you can see, there's no shortage of that to say the least. And yes, that includes anamorphic de-squeezing as well. With all these options and adding to the 8K full frame sensor, you can use any lens you want and downscale accordingly. Moving on to the frame rates and the slow motion capabilities, the V-Raptor excels compared to the competition. Recording at 120 frames per second in 8K and going all the way up to 600 frames per second in 2K. This is really impressive. The amount of performance you can get from the camera is remarkable. No other camera in the market can achieve this unless you're getting a phantom camera, which is made specifically for slow motion capture. This table we made will showcase all the frame rate options you have with the Raptor. Feel free to pause and take a closer look. Now we're going to have some test footage just to see how well the camera holds up in low light. We have a perfectly exposed image here, so I'm going to dim down the light to 0.1% and close my lens to T8. And for reference, the BTS you're seeing was a shot at 12,800 ISO on an FX3. As you can see, there is no visible noise on the image. When you zoom in, it may be able to see some slight noise. To be honest, the image from this sensor is great. Even in the shadows, the image stay clean. The V-Raptor XL records in R3D file format, providing an efficient and manageable raw video, giving you plenty of room to work with in post-production. Also introducing RED's image processing pipeline 2, IPP2. In IPP2, the advanced color space, RED Wide Gamma RGB, enables the camera to use every color that the sensor generates up to the clipping threshold then the camera encodes the image using log3g10 
a gamma curve that retains extreme highlight and shadow detail, bringing red's color science to a new level. Color science in the post-production workflow are improved, giving you more range and flexibility. I'm saying this out of my own experience, going through the workflow and the color grading footage using DaVinci. There is a misinformation that red footage is hard to deal with in post-production, but I couldn't be further from the truth. I have some test footage here in DaVinci shot on the Raptor XL in R3D 8K, high quality, and I'm putting it in, in an 8K timeline. You can see that I'm actually playing this in real time with no frames dropping. It's consistent and all I have is a base model MacBook Pro with the new M2 Pro chip. Internal ND filters is an essential feature in any modern cinema camera and for a good reason. They can help you maintain a shallow depth of field in bright outdoor environments and achieve a more cinematic look, giving you greater control over the exposure, which will add more creative options to your filmmaking. Having them built into the camera body saves you a lot of time on set because it's only a button click away. The V-Raptor has an electronic ND minimum density of two stops and a maximum density of seven stops. Also, electronic ND selectable increments of one third, one quarter, and one stops. The V-Raptor XL takes CF Express Type B memory cards, which will cost 1,800 dirhams per one terabyte. When recording in 8K, 24 frames, red code high quality, it will cost you around 30 dirhams per minute of recording time. And that's equivalent to $8.25. Shooting on red is significantly cheaper from the price of the memory card to the actual file size. Even the price of the camera itself is cheaper than the competition. This is really where red makes a difference. And it is feature packed from the amazing color science to the high frame rates and the ridiculous 17 stops of dynamic range and much more. With the price it has, the V-Raptor XL is very tempting option in the current market. You really can't go wrong if you buy this one. This camera is definitely built for high-end productions from the look and design to the actual building material. It only weighs 3.6 kg body alone. It's bigger than the standard Raptor, even though they share the same 8K Vista Vision sensor and computing power. That's due to the added selection of ports and the internal electronic ND system. This camera is an all-in-one solution for high-end television and motion picture productions. There isn't a lot of accessories needed. It is fully loaded with everything you need right out of the box. I'm going to put up a selection of ports and mounting holes on the screen, so feel free to pause to take a closer look. That will be all for today. So thank you very much for joining us on this episode of AMT Tech Service. We hope that you found this video helpful and informative. If you're interested in purchasing any audio or visual equipment, be sure to visit amt.tv for a wide selection of top quality equipment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.